Coming up, Gary Hart's secret lunch with the governor. The man who used to run the court system in Queens now is headed to jail. And why experts are afraid the Long Island Sound could turn into a black lagoon where nothing could live. Late word on Miami, getting ready for the Pope. See you soon. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? From Channel 5 News in New York, this is the 10 o'clock news. Good evening, Gary Hart and Donna Rice were in our town today. Very separate, nothing like the togetherness on the monkey business cruise, but reporters were in a frenzy. Zaccaro, who's married to Geraldine Ferraro, goes on trial on Monday for soliciting a million dollar bribe from Cablevision. And coming up next, why the mayor is going to Nicaragua. How Miami is getting ready for the Pope's arrival tomorrow, sweeping the hookers off the streets and looking into every manhole. What an average house will cost you in Greenwich, Connecticut these days. Start thinking over a million in America's richest suburbs. And start thinking about the water in front of those homes. Long Island Sound is being dead. Dr. Joe reports on the latest findings that have shocked the experts. Well, it's just hours before Pope John Paul II starts his trip to our country with a flight out of Rome. He'll arrive tomorrow afternoon in Miami. President Reagan will be at the airport for the official welcome. Bob O'Brien is standing by right now near the airport. He's been watching the last-minute preparations. Bob? John, everything should be ready here for tomorrow's long-awaited arrival of Pope John Paul II. Very much, Bob. The tedious job of selecting a jury for the Howard Beach trial continues. Today, a judge questioned potential jurors about their own racial biases and how that might affect the trial's outcome. Well, coming up next is Supreme Court Justice's sharp words about the president. And a White House panel on AIDS starts business with protests. dragged him away from his house and family. Now he's starting over again with the same rules that cost him everything he owned. He won't pay taxes. Watch your current affair tomorrow live at 7.30 here on Fox Channel 5. We'll hopefully get it for you by the end of the evening and uh, have a complete report for you tomorrow night on Fox News at 7. Uh, reporting live from the 71st, this is Steve Dunlop. Back to the studio. All right, Steve, let's now go to Nick with the weather. Nick? And John and Coran, as soon as we ended up the Labor Day weekend, what happens? The weather turns warmer, we had temperatures in the 80s, so sure, that's what I say. Mm -hmm. That's part of the job, we got to report the good and the bad, don't they? <laughs> right now we're going to be looking at uh, right around 75 degrees in Midtown, humidity 69%, and uh, I've got some good news on the humidity because it is going to be drying out a bit tomorrow because... Look at the wind. It's west-northwest at 7. Friday, again, it'll start out sunny, but the clouds are going to move in by afternoon, 78. Good chance of showers, it looks like, on Saturday, mid-70s, and then maybe a sprinkle Sunday morning should clear out, so maybe we'll salvage half of this weekend. John Corian? All right, thanks, Nick. Amazing. I got a question for you tonight. I, I, I want to hear up because I want to hear what happened in the, at the U.S. Open and with the Mets. This is Why from... Don't we uh, go into that right now? No, we have to do this first, because Harry Schloss of Oceanside took the time to write you this question. And he wants you to tell him who was the first player signed by the Boston Celtics. Very first player signed by the Boston Celtics. I don't believe there was such a, a, a first player. Well, somebody had to be first, didn't they? Well, I, their owner, Walter Brown, was there, and they might have signed Connie Simmons, or Al Brightman, or, or Chuck Connors. Or, 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 they might have signed, yes. you're supposed to say, Art Spector. I don't believe it. Well, take that, Harry, huh? <laughs> I don't believe it. Harry Schloss of Oceanside, the Amazing doesn't believe you. And I'm not going to do anything about it. The Amazing's next. Stay with us. <laughs> This fall, television's most prestigious event is coming to Fox. The 39th Annual Emmy Awards. Events. Well, I mean, we have voted, and it's Connie Simmons, uh, so the answer was wrong. So you know what Connie Thanks for the question. Doing. Connie yeah. became a house painter here in New York. Six foot ten Well, he didn't have to have a step ladder. Absolutely. <laughs> Suddenly, it's a three-horse race in the National League. Montreal has joined the party. The Mets had the Phillies to think about first, though, and the Phillies gave them a headache because Aguilera gave up a home run to Glenn Wilson in the fifth inning. That made it two to nothing. Philadelphia with one of the best pitchers in the